He's expressing what we wrote about in the Trends Journal about seven months ago. That we are on the verge of nuclear annihilation. And it's going to happen with either a false flag event or a nuclear exchange. Yes, we're there. World War II is not ancient history. It's only 77 years ago. World War I's not ancient history. Look how much of Europe was destroyed. Look at the millions of people that were killed. I read John F. Kennedy's speech to the students, graduating students at American University, June 1963. All about peace. All about peace. He goes on to say, out of Kennedy's mouth, that no country suffered more during World War II than the Soviet Union. Over 20 million of them were killed. He said their land, their factories, their homes, their farms were destroyed from Chicago east. That was the equivalent. He said, we don't agree with them. They're a different country, but these aren't bad people. He said, we have to unite for peace because if we don't, and if we confront the Soviet Union, the world will be destroyed in 24 hours. That's his words. These are evil, demented people. And when are people going to grow up and stop listening to them and swallowing their lies? Again, America, if we don't have a renaissance, to me, it's over. It's over. This country's just going to go down. You know, they didn't bring, never brought Bush, Cheney, Wolfowitz, any of them up on charges for lying about this. But the big news every damn day like I give a damn is about Donald Trump. America can go anywhere it wants and now we're bringing more troops and fighting more in Syria. What right does America have to be in Syria? And there's no blowback at all and the American media totally bans those of us who speak out against America's illegal invasion of other nations. The business of America is war. Hundreds of trillions of dollars spent in the military, industrial, and intelligence, i.e. spying complex, was put into research and development. Could you imagine? We'd have a very clean, cheap energy, and we'd be living much, much nicer lives in so many ways. But fear, hysteria, hate, and war is what they sell. You have evil, demonic people in charge of our lives. I'm totally opposed to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Of the United States overthrow the democratically elected government of Viktor Yanukovych in Ukraine. Article written by Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former assistant treasury secretary in the Ronald Reagan. I'm totally opposed, totally understand it. And, but look at America. You like the Afghan war? You like the Iraq war? Let's go back to the Afghan war and show you how easily people march off the war. Before the war on terror began, the dot-com bust happened. Again, warned about it in the Trends Journal back then. Dot-com this, October 1999. The, the NASDAQ was crashed before 9-11. 9-11 happened? We're gonna get that guy Osama bin Laden dead or alive. 88% of the people believed it. And then they created the new fake real estate market. We have evil demonic people in charge. They could care less about our lives. They are evil. By their deeds, you shall know them. We can have the second American Revolution. A revolution of the heart and the mind and the spirit and morality. Something that doesn't exist when you send drones to kill innocent people. 
When you allow banks to rob your savings and take your home and put you on the street. A morality that doesn't exist when they make up names like austerity measures to rob your money, raise your taxes, take your pensions and benefits away and give them to the banksters. A morality that doesn't exist in a country that used to be the beacon of capitalism. Nothing wrong with capitalism. This ain't it. It's fascism. When American colonists were oppressed by British governance, the word most frequently uttered in pamphlets, editorials, and sermons was not safety or taxes. It was freedom. Yep, it was freedom. Something that uh, doesn't exist anymore. I'll tell you what to do. I'm the governor of California. You get into your home. I'm the governor of New York. Close down your business. I'm the governor of, of uh, Michigan. Close down your schools. I'll tell you what to do. What did Jefferson say were our natural rights? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is an unhappy country. Yeah. Weary, dark, unhappy. The government is leading us to World War III. Government wants to take our guns. Uh, government wants to uh, regulate the banks into uh, inflation. These are very, very dark and unhappy uh, times. The public needs to react to it uh, at the voting booth, or we need a soft, nonviolent revolution, a revolution in, in the hearts of men and women. That the revolution. two party system has not served us well. It has sapped our liberty, sapped our strength, and destroyed our prosperity. A revolution in the in the hearts and minds of men, yep. which will recognize that the two men and women, which will recognize that the two party system has not preserved liberty. It has destroyed our liberty. It has sapped our uh, prosperity. It has put gray clouds over our happiness instead of the sunshine we once knew. Ronald you know, Reagan. I, I, Ronald Reagan said America should be like a city on the hill where the sun shines all right we all have dark days we all have things in our lives that don't go well oh yeah but we haven't had a good day in this country in years